So yeah, hey, hey, how you going? So today we are going to visit Wikipedia. And now because I'm a four-eyed bastard, I need to put my glasses on. So ah, uh, I'm using OBS. And I don't edit poor shit. So basically, this is the article. Australian vocabulary. And it has yeah, a bit of information, blah 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 blah. You know. And it's got the dictionary, so we have the Macquarie dictionary. I think I have one in the background somewhere. So that's the Australian dictionary. Year of Australian English was published. Okay. So then we've got words of Australian origin. So these are words. Typically, we just use in Australia, as far as I know. So we've got battler. Yeah, person of few natural advantages, usually a worker or low wage worker. And well, it was first used by Henry Lawson. So, yeah, so people know what battler is. Ludger, yeah, person who avoids doing work, even when they're at work. Dull bludger, uh, stop bludging at work. Yeah, so that one. Yeah, people will understand. Bogan, yeah, people will understand. Uh, someone, so, someone who's, uh, whose speech, clothing, attitude, and behavior is considered unrefined, unsophisticated, so pretty much uncultured. Uh, but a lot of the times we use both Bogan to include racism as well, so Bogan's a racist in a lot of ways. I like, and then we've got Yobbo. So you're both pretty much like Bogan. So I like to differentiate Bogan and Yobbo. Like Bogans, they don't have a job. Yobbos have a job. So Yobbos are more like trades people, tradies, sparkies, anyone like that. And pretty much I put them in any ethnic group. So, you know, you can get Samoan Bogans, uh, Samoan Yobbos, Arab Yobbos. I get a lot of Indian Yobbos now. Although they like to play the Indian music. Mm. Okay, Kuga, a conspiracy theorist. So that's probably more, you know, at is. Like, oh, that flat earth is a cooker, man. So it's someone, it means that their brains are cooked. Their brains are fried, pretty much. That's what it means. Okay, did reduce just an instrument. So that's that. That's that. Did you redo that? Um, digger, an Australian soldier, so mainly associated with uh, World War One and World War Two, but you can associate it now. Uh, dinkum, fair dinkum means the truth, speaking the truth. Uh, not many people actually say that these days, so a lot of people won't understand what you're talking about. Okay, dunny also just means a toilet, the lavatory, uh, and it says here the bathroom is. A room with a shower and a bath. Yeah. yeah. Current in modern houses, uh, the bathroom does have a toilet, but we don't tend to associate a bathroom as just being a toilet. It has to have a bath, a shower, and also a sink for tap. I think in America they call it the tap faucet or some shit like that. Okay, fair go. Now, yeah, given everyone a equal opportunity, so that's what fair go is just an equal opportunity for everyone. Obviously, we know that doesn't happen in any country, really. Jackaroo, I think the female term is jellaroo, or people who work on cattle and uh, sheep farms, usually cattle. Oh, what they? They take cattle around, cattle stations. Okay, Nasha. Nasha, I've never heard of that. Person undergoing national service. So it might be a younger person's um, slang word. So that's what you need to know about these ones. So Dunny and Fed Income. Uh, they're probably about 50 to 100 year old slang. Uh, this Nasha and Nork are probably more modern 2000 slang. So, generations, different generations would 
understand different types of slang. And that's how languages change. Different words come in the younger generation. Older words from older generation disappear. So the newer generation, either they bring in a new word or, or just reinvent an old word and give a different definition. So that changes. And that's part of how languages change. And then you've got sound shifts and something like and also imported words as well. And I've heard of languages that have the grammar of one language family, but the words of another. So it's very interesting. Okay, Norka female breast. Uh, entomology disputed. Who what's a reference to that? Australian National Dictionary, Oxford, nineteen eighty eight. Okay, so I need to uh, outback, yeah, just just a remote place in Australia, sparsely populated. It can have can be, the rainforest can be an outback, and the desert can be an outback as well. Okay, okay, then we have Aboriginal words. So here we have Aboriginal languages. So let's just have a quick. So what we have here, we in this area, we have the Pema Nyungan languages, so that's in the Tan. And up here, we have all different. So we've got Tan, this is Yongumafa. I can't, I can't remember what language, uh, Gawawa, I think that is. And here, we have different language families. So these are more older than the Pema Nyungan. So the, I think... The the Pamanoi gun supposed to have originated in Queensland somewhere and spread around Australia in the past few thousand years. So, uh, and here we have a number of, in, you know, people speaking Indigenous languages. The highest is 3.77%, which is Western Australia, Northern Territory, and parts of South Australia. And as you can see, Victoria and Tasmania, very few individuals that speak Indigenous languages. And here we have the actual languages, so don't worry about that now. Okay, and what we have is Kuwait. So you, uh, it's like a locator. So you go Kuwait in the countryside, generally in mountainous regions, and it's supposed to be able that other people can hear. Okay, yakka to work. We say hard yakka, hard work. A lot of people should know what yakker is, and then we've got animals, koala, dingo, kangaroo, um, boomerang in Australian boo, it's borrowed for Darug, Broken Bay Tribe, where, where is that? That is well, around Sydney. So is this a language map or is this a, oh that's a bioregion. So they separate Australia into different bioregions based on the geology and fauna and flora. Okay. And so they use the incorrect map for that. And here's the language. Small number of level two speakers. So hopefully they'll be level one soon when they have children. And that is from the Sydney region. Okay, British and American. Okay, we've got Billy, which is a can. A lot of people won't know what Billy is. Fair income. G'day. Yeah, people know. Manchester. Oh, household linen. Yeah, people know what Manchester is. Pillow sheets. Dune covers. Stuff like that. Sheila. Yeah, just a woman. Yobbo. Yeah. Rhyming slang. Yeah, I don't really know any rhyming slang. Chandaloo spew. Yeah. And okay. Names of beer glasses in various states. So there's them in Melbourne. I don't really drink this, but all I know is a, a glass, a pot, schooner. So obviously well, you begun I know a point. The point is usually from the UK. Uh, MIDI, I've heard of MIDI. Uh, I haven't heard it in most of these ones. So even the small ones. 
usually people like to drink about two to three hundred milliliters. Schooner Butcher, not never heard of that for two hundred milliliters. Beer, yeah, well, obviously to drink in beer. Seven, yeah, for seven ounces. Midi, mini. See, looks like the most common one is midi. But as I'm in Malum, pot is probably to give us a pot of beer. Yeah, and then we use that in Brisbane. How about our enemy, Sydney, midi? Yeah, anyway. Okay, pre decimal currency, then we've got sports. Blah blah blah. I'm just looking for words. So, term shared by British and American English, but not commonly found in Australia, includes the Australian usage of bold, broad, abroad, uh, overseas. So let's go abroad. Cooler icebox esky. Okay, so we call a ice box an esky. Flip flops, fongs, pickup truck, yeah, we call it a ute. Yeah, we don't we don't call them trucks. That that's definitely a sedan, type of sedan. Wildfire, bushfire, ah oh, we we use both anyway. And a lot of terms for geography we don't use. So cop Peace, cleared bushland, we don't use that. Dell, we don't use that. Fen, we don't use that. Heap, no, we do use heap. Shrubland, so we have the melee heap. Uh, meadow, yeah, grassy plain, we just usually call it grassland. Uh, moor, swampland, yeah, we just use swampland. Shrubland, spinny, never heard of that. Stream, yeah, we do use stream. We also use creek. Uh, woods, bush, we use both, woods and bush. Village, just small settlement in Australia are called towns and stations. Yeah, we don't use village for any place in Australia. Just use it on towns. And if it's only a few houses, a station, like cattle station, something like that. Okay, so some of these from my perspective is you know a little bit incorrect okay british terms not widely used in australia allotment uh, not connected to a well dwelling arctic articulated lorry vehicle yeah we use semi-trailer aubergine no we use eggplant yeah bank holiday public holiday yeah Public holiday, yeah. Barmy, mad, crazy, insane. Usually, barmy, we usually say, oh, this is today's barmy, so it's probably hot and humid. Okay, bed sit. Yeah, yeah, just call us apartment. Okay, bin lorry. Garbage truck, rubbish truck. Bobby, yeah, pollen, we don't use that. Candy floss, yeah, we use fairy floss. Cash machine. I mean, with ATM, yeah, a lot of this is pretty correct. <clears throat> Childminder, babysitter, yeah, they probably use that in the UK as well. Have? Oh, Bogan, yeah. TV, yeah, so a lot of this seems to be pretty correct. So, a cooker, okay, we use stove or oven. Council housing, public housing. <clears throat> crash, childcare centre. No, we do use crash, so not everything is correct. Um, mm. Counterpane, bedspread. Okay, do. Uh, party or social gathering? Mm. Okay. Yeah, so obviously a lot of these, I'm looking at these, I've never heard of them before. Dung, dungarees, yeah, overalls, dustbin, garbage bin, rubbish bin. Well, we don't use dustbin pretty much. We do understand what it is. Dust cart, duvet, duna, yeah. Well, we use both of those, duvet and duna. 
Okay, electric lead, electric cord, we use bow, fairy cake, cupcake, you know, we use cupcake, Father Christmas, Santa Claus, well, we use both. I think Santa Claus is more common, but Father Christmas, yeah, we know what it is. Strain English, warm, fan, free phone, toll free, okay, toll free number. Okay, gammon. Pine leg of pork makes no distinction between gammon and ham. You never heard of gammon, so obviously it must be true. Okay, <clears throat> git. So maybe I will actually do the rest of this in another video. So let me know what you think, and if you're offended by anything, then I don't care.